Oh, good morning, John Finney from Carl Quest here. You may wonder why I'm surrounded by this small grocery store. And it's really to help me answer the most common viewer question I receive, which is how do I make my panko pack bait or my panko alt pack bait mixes for carp fishing? So now here's some of the basic ingredients that they use. Old fastened oats, chili flakes, cinnamon, creamed corn, standard sweet corn out of a can, coaster salt, panko breadcrumbs, molasses, or caramel syrup. Now this is really the basic shopping list of things that you need to get started with some pack baits. So, you know, let's get started with the very first one. You now the easiest of them all, just this plain, basic panko pack bait mix. Couple of ingredients, quick and easy to make. So here's the basic panko pack bait recipe. You know, eight ounces of panko breadcrumbs, unflavored, half a 14 ounce tin of creamed corn, about a tablespoon of caro syrup, and about a tablespoon of closer salt. And that's it, that's the basic panko mix. So let's get these ingredients mixed together and see what it looks like. So we're gonna take eight ounces of panko breadcrumbs and pour them into a bucket. Add a tablespoon of salt. Give them a good old mix together. And this is the point where they also add any other dry flavorings like chili flakes or cinnamon. I'm going to add seven ounces of cream corn. And again, here you'd also add your other wet ingredients. In this case, we're adding a tablespoon of caro syrup, which is a dark caro syrup. But you can add your liquid flavor additives at this time. Give all the ingredients a really good mix together. And really mix that stuff up. So there you have it, the basic panko pack bait mix. Now I normally store mine in a Ziploc bag, so let's scoop it in there and let's get over to the tank and see what it looks like underwater. So moving on from the basic panko mix, here's my basic mix for a panko oats pack bait. One pound of old fastened oats, one eight ounce packet of panko breadcrumbs, again unflavoured, one whole tin of cream corn, 14 ounces, about two tablespoons of molasses, and about two tablespoons of closer salt. And that's it, that's the basic base mix for my panko oats pack bait. So let's get it put together and see what this one looks like. All right, so we're going to start off with one pound of old-fashioned oats, 16 ounces. Pour it into a bucket. Add a couple of tablespoons of salt, close to salt. Eight ounces of unflavoured panko breadcrumbs. And then give it a really good mix together. Again, this is the point you'd add some other dry ingredients like your chili flakes, the cinnamon, 
and other dry flavourings. Really give it a gold mix. I'm going to add our wet ingredients starting off with a 14 ounce tin cream corn. couple of tablespoons of molasses and again you'd add your other wet ingredients at this point you know, I sometimes add the CC more fruit response bait booster or any other wet ingredients wet flavorings of the choice and then give all this a really good mix together you don't have to go crazy with it, but you've really got to work those ingredients in. All about a minute of mixing. There you have it, my basic pancakes, pack bay mix. Let's get this one into a Ziploc bag, over to the tank, in the water, and see what it looks like. <laughs> 